Okay, welcome back. This is part 27 of my How to Build a Community Site tutorial series. And in part 26, we finished up our basic uh, profile page. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in a contact form. Uh, it's just going to be a simple form. Uh, it's going to have a couple of different fields. And uh, it will send to whatever email you designate. So I have a file opened already and created. Uh, the name of the file is contact.php, and it's just the generic file that we've had all along. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, so we just want to create a form variable, and I'm just putting this inside of the left ID here. Um, so we're going to create a form with the action to contact.php, and uh, we're going to give it a method of post. Um, and the reason we're doing post instead of get is because we don't want any information passed along through our browser URL. Because that does get annoying, uh, if only always. So, go ahead and end the form. And I'm going to put in a table. And I'm going to go ahead and end the table. And put in a row and the row and put in a column and end the column so we have two columns and one row so each column the first column is going to have the name of the field say full name email message and probably that's that's probably the only thing we're going to have those three fields so uh, maybe a subject I don't know uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and say full name and I'm going to give put in an input type of text type equals text name equals full name um, we want to put our class of our text box even though we still don't have any uh, styling for it and that's just in case we do end up styling it later um, and I'm actually going to put a size as well of about 30 I'm going to go with 40, actually, because we're putting the full name in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and copy all of that and paste it. And then we have uh, your email. The name will be email. The size will be 40. Uh, and then we will have, I guess, message. The name will be message. We're going to get rid of the size, and we're going to change the input to a text area. And we need to end our text area. So, uh, I'm going to give this rows of about, I'm going to go with 7. And I'm going to give it coals of 32. Now, the reason I'm going with 32 is because uh, 32 coals is the same as a, a size of 40. So they're, they're really, really close uh, in, in size. Uh, then we need our submit button. We can get rid of the size. We need to change the class name to button. And give this puppy a value of um, send, I suppose. And our type needs to be submit. All right. Um, so now we're going to put in an if statement. And our if statement is going to be uh, similar to everything, every other time we've had a form, is we're going to um, check for the uh, submit button. So dot underscore post, and that's our uh, submit btn. <coughs> so if our submit button is clicked or pressed, we want to get the full name dash sign underscore post and full name then we need the email and the message all right so what we want to do is we're going to put in another if statement to check to make sure that we have all of this information uh, so all three are going to be required so We'll just go ahead and throw in our else, 
and if they're not required, we'll say um, you did not fill in the entire form, and then our form variable. Uh, yeah, it's spelled right. Okay, so inside of our uh, if statement right here, we just want to put our full name variable, an and sign, uh, it's actually two and signs, or one, two, one, I don't know, I don't remember. Um, the email, which I just realized I spelled wrong earlier. No, maybe not. Um, and then the uh, message itself. So if all of that information is uh, provided, then we really, uh, the only other thing we need to do is we need to make sure that a valid email has been submitted, um, because if a valid email has not been submitted, uh, then errors will be returned when you try to send the message. So, um, we're just going to go ahead and throw in the else, and we'll say you did not provide a valid email. And then our form. Um, so inside of this if statement, we're going to use the str str function. str, there we go. Uh, we're going to use the function twice. But what the str str function, or string string, it's short for, uh, essentially it's going to allow us to check for a string, a small string, in this case an at sign and a period. And we're going to check to make sure that those are inside of the email variable, because in order for an email to be valid, it must have an at sign and a... There's definitely two and signs. Um, and uh, a period. So, And it must be in that order. must have the long string first, in this case, the email, and then the period or at sign. So, uh, since we've done that, we can go ahead and uh, set our webmaster variable, which the webmaster variable is going to be the variable, or the... Uh, the address that the email is going to be sent to. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use my admin at basicnick.com email. Uh, the subject is going to be whatever you want. Um, I'm going to say message from and then uh, full name right there. And then we also want to put in a headers variable. Um, and our headers variable is going to say from, and where I have a capital F here, you must have a capital F. Then you must have a semicolon, and you don't have to have the space though. And this is where you put um, uh, their email, so email. Uh, but I'm going to put this in uh, wakas, or greater than, less than signs, they're called wakas. And I'm going to put the full name, so it's going to say it's from that person. And then our message we already have, so we can go ahead and send the email. So we want to say mail. The first thing is who this is sent to. Um, so, or no, first thing is, yeah, who this is sent to. So this is our webmaster variable. And then we have uh, the subject, then the message, <clears throat> and then we have our headers. Now, if you don't have the headers done properly, you will get errors. Uh, so I'm just going to warn you now. So we're just going to echo, and we're gonna say your message has been sent. And we're just going to go ahead and display the form again. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a link to that page, our contact page, on our uh, bottom nav bar. And then I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to FTP up those two files and I will be back in a moment. Okay, so we have our contact form here uh, and you can see this actually needs to be kicked down to 31 which is what it actually needs to be, not 32. Uh, so kick that to 31 and I'll FTP that up later. But we have our form here, so I'm just going to type in my name. I'm just going to say Nick, email, say basic uh, .nick at gmail com, and I'm just going to type in something random click send your message has been sent so it's sending the message now I'm not going to show you it because I'd have to load up my email and everything that's going to take too long uh, so that's how to create a contact form in PHP